Breaking all the records, you know, it was, uh, it was really important to me. You know, I've been doing it, you know, trying to break it, you know, ever since I came in and started winning, you know. I never knew that I'd be able to break it, but now I got so close, you know, I went ahead and done it. And, you know, my injury, you know, I would have broke it a while back, but since I got hurt, I had to win like uh, 17 out of 19 races just to um, break the record. So it was good. I have, it was, it was a good time doing it. You know, if Ricky tries to go back, you know, uh, he's uh, 24 years old. I'm, I'm 18, so uh, we can just always, we can always go back, you know, we can, it'd be kind of cool to go back and actually race him on a 125 again and, uh, you know, find out. I think I got the upper hand on that one, so uh, we'll find out. That should be fun, though. So you've been waiting your entire career for 05, basically, to come, that the year you're going to step up to 250 full-time, race Ricky and Chad, and, you know, there's a chance McGrath might race a few select supercrosses. Are you going to do anything different in your offseason to prepare for that, or do you just stick to your game plan and just run it like you always have? You no, know, racing against Ricky and Chad, you know, Jeremy, all those guys, you know, they're really great riders and stuff. And, uh, you know, I know for, you know, honestly, I, I believe that, you know, for speed-wise, you know, on two wheels, like, speed to speed, like, you know, if we go at it for that, and, like, nobody will beat me on that. And it's just going to be that consistency thing, you know. I got a whole 16-race Supercross series. So, yeah, this um, offseason, um, you know, Chad told me personally that he would be ready for me at Supercross. So um, I'm telling him personally now I'll be ready for him at Anaheim. So uh, it should be great. It should be a good season. I'm not racing U.S. Open, World Rounds. Um, I'm out. So next time you see me, guys, and honestly, next time you see if you catch me at the test track, I'll be out there. But honestly, for a race or a public event, uh, Anaheim, January 8th, you see me there. I'm going to hibernation. Um, you know, I got a lot of things that, you know, I'm going to do a lot of different training programs. Uh, so I will be the best fit guy out there next year. I guarantee that. Any chance we might see you roll up to Anaheim with your 05250 strapped to the back of the Bentley? Oh, yeah, you know, uh, for sure. Uh, you know, I got the Bentley from JD Motors right here. You know, we're gonna uh, we're working on a thing. I actually getting a hitch made for it, if I can pull a trailer behind it, so I can go to style in the races. I mean, I, I think I'm the first guy, to, uh, first motocross guy to come up here in the Bentley and uh, throw my gear bag and my boots in the front of the car. So <laughs> it's cool though. <laughs>